Okay, let's uh, play a little game with the calculator here. Let's see what the calculator tells us that the um, the square root of negative nine. Okay, we know that uh, we know that the square root of nine is three. Okay, and nine has two square roots. Nine actually has um, a positive square root and a negative square root. The negative square root of nine is negative three. Every number has two square roots. Well, does every number have two square roots? Hmm. What is the square root of negative nine? Let's see. Well, first of all, the calculator will tell us that the square root of nine is three, as expected. Um, but the square root of negative nine. What does it tell us? It tells us there's an error. Non-real answer. Well, you'll understand what that means in algebra 2. Um, if you're not already in algebra 2. Um, so, the square root of 9, there is no such number if the only numbers that you know about are the real numbers. Now, let's say we have this equation x squared equals 9. We solve that equation very easily because there are two numbers x could be, x could be positive 3 or x could be negative 3. But suppose our equation is x squared equals negative 9. Hmm. Can you think of a number that multiplies by itself to equal negative 9? I don't think you can if the only numbers that you know about are real numbers. So, this equation would have no solution, at least in the real number system. And in algebra 1, that's all you know about. Up until algebra 2, the only number system you know about is the real number system. That gives algebra 1 students something to look forward to in, the, in algebra 2. You'll learn about a new number system. But right now, if x squared equals a negative number, that's not possible. It's not possible. Here's proof. Well, the graph of y equals x squared, y equals x squared. It's never negative. It never goes below the x-axis. The smallest that x squared can be is 0. x squared can't be negative 9. So if you encounter an equation like this, the answer is no solution unless you're in algebra 2.